Moving on, you guys, to a happier story. And by happier, I mean sadder. That's what I meant by happier. <laughs> Just, it's, but it's funny. At least it's funny in a sad way. But I'm sure you guys have been following the Brittany Griner story. She's a WNBA player. And she got caught with cannabis cartridges going into Russia. That's a big no-no. It's Russia. And she was sentenced to prison there. And obviously this caused an uproar because how could a WNBA player who just wanted to smoke a little pot be sentenced to a sweatshop in Russia? And by the way, I have been vocal. I thought the punishment was extreme for the crime, right? I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, no, lock away every single person that has a cartridge of marijuana on them. I think what she did was stupid. And she's anti-American and she's constantly commenting on America. But at the same time, I think that this sentence was also extreme. So I am in the middle of this. She's now been released in a prisoner swap, which is just the most ridiculous I've ever heard. They swapped Brittany Griner for a merchant of death arms dealer. Victor Bout, a Russian merchant of death. That's what he's called. Arms dealer. So I'm just trying to picture Putin getting this phone call because it's just so ridiculous. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, Mr. Putin, America is on the line and they are very sad that you're keeping Brittany. I do not care. I do not care. Just, we're keeping her just ridiculous. She's smoking pot. This is a very bad Russian accent, but let's go with this, right? Um, okay, America's on the phone again and, and they're very, very sad. They say they're super sad that you have her. What is he calling me about the emotions of the Americans? I don't care about the emotions of the Americans. Okay, well, uh, the activists in America say they're super de duper sad and they're wanting to know if they gave you your arms dealer, who is referred to as the merchant of death, <laughs> would you give them back their pot smoking WNBA player? Is this a prank? No, no, it's, it's just Western philosophy. It's just America. So they want to feel good. They want to feel good. So if you can just please give them their openly lesbian pot-smoking basketball player, mm, they will give you back your merchant of death. Because, I don't know, it's America, and it's 2022. And so this makes sense, 2022, where everything is rainbows and sprinkles, and it's all about how we feel, not the practicality of what's taking place, which is that nowhere ever in the history of the world would any sane individual say, it's a good idea to swap somebody that is entitled the merchant of death and is an arms dealer for a possible WNBA player. Two things can be true at once. Her sentence was harsh, but also, if we're going to get her back, it shouldn't come at this cost, right? That's the answer here. And just in case you didn't realize how patently ridiculous the toddlers and tiaras that are running our nation are, Joe Biden, who can barely speak at this point, had these words to share about Brittany Griner's release. Brittany is, uh, is an incomparable athlete. Okay, let's stop right there. Of- I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> did, he, did he just say Brittany? Yeah, that was enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Candace, can, I, do, I, do, I, do, I do find Candace very entertaining. Do I support all the way? No. But on this aspect, I kind of do because I don't agree with the trade either. I think it was a bad trade, bad idea because the merchant of death, people don't understand he did a lot of bad things, even for the for the country of Africa. So y'all got somebody out that did harm to the home to the homeland, which is Africa. Makes no sense at all. But we live in a, we live in a society where everybody's saying about what's trending, who's hot. Let's get her out. I agree. Let's get her out, but let's get her out the right way, not this type of way. This to me was pathetic. I think this is the worst deal that has ever been done. And I'm I'm like I'm kind of agree with Trump too. I think this was very unpatriotic. I think this was just just stupid all across the board. So if I'm glad that she's home, I'm glad that she's safe because she's hey, over there in Russia to treat her like crap. But hey. If you do the crime, you must do the time. And not only that, but there, there is someone that's still over there that's been over there, I think, for like 10 years. And he yeah, actually Paul served Whelan. in the military. Say it again? Paul Whelan. Paul Whelan. Yeah, and he's... he was a Marine. He actually served yeah. the country. And he's still over there. And he's been over there, I think, for five to 10 years. Bad trade. That's my take. Hey, Amen. If Joe, you would have put Paul Will on there with Brittany Griner, okay. But 
I kind of agree with the, you know, with Ronnie, you know, this is, you know, I'm, I'm glad that Brittany's grown her home. You know, like I said, a black sister, she's home and you know, she gets to, you know, play the WWE, I get it. But in the end to that sense, you know, just to get one American back, not getting two, you know, I think that was a bad deal as well, especially the merchants of that. Even though, you know, he had, even though he had 10 years left serving and I believe he was going to be on parole in the next two or three years or so, you could have found a way to, Get, you know, get Paul Whelan back as well. You should have fought harder. You should have did some type of um, tactic or something from Joe, but he couldn't. He, he couldn't do it. I think Joe was trying to fall for, for the media, especially for, you know for the voters. Like hey, you know, for the voters in, in two years from now when he gonna get reelected, and I guess he was feeling the pressure of that. So because if he if he wasn't gonna um, get her home, you know, he was gonna lose the voters. And I guess somebody told him about that, and it was like, okay, let's just you know pull the trigger, let's just get Brittany, Brittany Griner home, all that type of stuff. Uh, but then again, you know, I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm glad that she's home. I'm glad that she's safe. The one thing I'm a, I don't like about it, and I and then they go, I know they're gonna do this. They're gonna make her as, as her as being patriotic. And I don't agree with that being patriotic because there's stuff from the past that that she felt oppressed here in America, and she you know and and, and technically that she don't you know people think that she don't like America. Now that you know she, when she went to Russia last year, she's been over there a year, got locked up, you know, and then got sentenced and everything. You know, I, I know that definitely changed her mind all that type of stuff. But her being patriotic, I definitely disagree because she didn't be patriotic because she, she broke the law there and, you know, she got sentenced she, and, and, and at the time she, she was going to pay the time, you know, after she brought her back home. You know, but that patriotic stuff, don't do. But they're going to, I feel like in this, in this generation, they're going to paint her as a uh, patriotic, which I definitely disagree. That's my take. Um, There's a term called, there's a term that you might hear people call war games. In war games, this is the bad, this worstest move we had ever made. Worst, worst, worst move we had ever made. And from a political standpoint, and just from a common sense standpoint, and I'm saying here, nobody deserved to go to jail. Nobody deserved to be in prison, especially overseas. An American is an American. We got to protect them. But when we're playing war games here, we're in the midst. Because we're playing, we're we're playing um, Kobe and Shaq right now with Ukraine to Russia, and the fact of the matter is, you just released and gave them a Dennis Rodman, one of the most offensive person in the world. Listen here, if you don't know, there's a movie called The Lord of War, played by Nicolas Cage. This movie was based on this guy. He can cause more conflict in Africa, especially in Liberia. He's given gun cities, guys, guns to a bunch of people, machetes. To tell me we traded him for a WNBA player when our Marine, Paul Whelan, is still locked up. I, myself, was very surprised that the black community thought this was a worse trade. They looked at this if this was the NFL tryouts or the NBA tryout. They was like, nah, this is not good. Because even them, they know from a common sense level, no, this is not good. This man has, in his heyday, was actively trying to kill Americans. And and mind you, if she doesn't feel American, why would we trade her for her? Um, I think we could have got her out for less, to be honest with you. I think we could have got her out for, listen, I'm not being disrespectful, man. I think we could have got her out for a box of guns. Not the merchant of death. I would have swapped him for Paul Whelan any day. That's a Marine. He's been there. I, I, I've seen it. I've seen him. I don't know what his mental health is. The man should have been home by now. But who are we? I just hope that um, the Biden administration could come with something better. And I'm going to just say something. If Trump was here, Whelan would have been home by now. Half these things we're going through with not. Trump knows how to play games. He is by far patriotic to the core. He does not want America to involve himself in anything that's not going to benefit us. Some of these acts and games that we're playing are beneath us. That's my take. 
I want to say one more Let thing me. when you said hot king. When you right. said uh, Donald, Donald Trump would have wrong um, both of them, uh, Paul Wheeler home, he would because that man knows Putin. Basically. He, 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 he that's his, he, Donald Trump said, hey, that's my boy. I can, I, that's his boy. He, 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 he will say that. And he know how to play tactics of how to bring people home. That's my quick take right there. Now, some people may say no, but uh, how come in Trump administration days he didn't take pull Paul one and out? However, people, can, however, if you do your research, they also say Trump was leaving out to the next administration, which is Joe Biden's administration, to bring him back home after his term was over. So Joe Biden dropped the ball on this one, not Trump, because a lot of people say, "Why did Trump even take him out if he was so willing to take?" He was going to take him out, but his administration was over. But he pushed it on to the next administration, which is Biden administration. But he completely ignored it and focused on what the people want. People did. They wanted Brittany Griner. That's what they wanted. And they said, forget the other person that served, that actually served the country for over a decade. Something to think about. And guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We thank you for all the new subscribers that have been subscribed to the channel. We do appreciate it. And the people that have been watching us from the, since day one, we appreciate you guys. So guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. We go live each and every Sunday, 7.30 Eastern Time. Thank you for tuning in, K Culture Radio. We are waiting out. Peace. Peace. Peace.